The play, uh, it's autobiographical. It's, uh, it's the most important project I have because it's about my life and it's, it speaks about one of the most painful, painful things I lived in my life. And uh, it was and it is a huge bet. Uh, because when I first started in uh, 2009, uh, there was no such thing in Romania of having someone going on the stage very publicly to say, I am who I am, Alina, I am a Roma person, and it hurts me here, it hurts me here, it hurts me here. And... Um, this was a huge bet because uh, it was also dangerous. Regarding this big word, identity, <laughs> this is such a big word. And I'm still discovering it. I, today, just, I would say I'm gonna be 13 a, a bit, and I still learn about who I am, who I am as a, first as a person, as a woman, um, trying to become an adult and still not really figuring out how is this, how are the rules with that. Uh, and then to, to still um, come to terms with my Roma identity. My work is not comfortable for many people because I do not want to promote us as exotic beings and very different from you. No. I'm saying, hey, we are like you in many ways, but we didn't have your chances. You have to understand that we reached at 11, um, zero ground of poverty, nothing, we had nothing. And we end up in a, a traditional yard with horses, with everything, and this was the family of my father. And um, she had to fight a lot for me to receive a good education. Good education doesn't mean uh, what white people speak about, like uh, <laughs> classical music and going to uh, ride horses, ponies. I mean uh, good education in the fact that I would know how to respect myself first and respect others, to understand that education is a way out to understand that I'm learning for me and not for her. To understand that um, this is where we are now. She cannot offer me more. But one day, if I push hard, maybe I can offer myself some things. So I would say again that having her around until 15, 14, 15, really created the, the whole basis of who I am and who I managed to still be when she was not around because I hadn't had her from 15 to 21 which is a very challenging uh, uh, time for any any adolescent regardless of where they are what background so when she came back I, I have graduated my high school got into three universities two of them with scholarship um, and I wasn't married, um, and I was planning to go to acting school. So um, the decisions were when we hit that ground of poverty, I understood that it's up to me to really uh, do something about school. But I had help, obviously, from her having a Having a mom like this obviously helps. I didn't do it alone. In my yard, there were other kids that I tried to, cousins of mine, that I tried to impact. And I could see how, how hard it was for them to really uh, get the chances I got. They had to stay with their brothers and sisters. Nobody was um, helping them with their homeworks. So... Um, I understood that there's no, not only will at all. It's a lot of other conditions around. 
It's just a story that presents a human being with um, with the pains, with uh, in the highs and in the lows. And it's a play that other people that are not Roma connected with. And this is another very, very uh, positive thing for me as an artist, to have people from different communities to say, you are speaking about me too. I, as an artist, a Roma artist, would like to be in the repertoires of the mainstream theater. In the mainstream. I do not want to be with the specials. I do not want to have my work only in the day of the Roma um, uh, slave, abolition of slavery. Day. Day of discrimination. You can perform there. Be nice, okay? Be colorful. Wave and leave. No fucking way. No. I want to be in the mainstream all the time. I want people to see the great shame to see a play about Roma slavery as they see plays about trees and love and Chekhov that I am bored of. So this would be a cultural revolution. People to see a Roma story among others.